Hey everybody, so welcome back to North Fork. I'm Derek, thanks for joining us today. So today we got a lot of snow. So um, I just got the truck started here maybe about a half hour ago. It's been sitting there idling, warming up. Uh, I'll pull the battery charger off and uh, we'll see if we can start plowing some snow. Got about two feet here last night and uh, yeah, it's quite a, quite a big snowstorm for us. So this area, it uh, set the record for the largest snowfall ever in, the past, in two days. Um, so while we've had more snow over winters, one for a, a one or two day total, this is a pretty pretty big snowfall. So I'm pretty excited to get plowing. Uh, I love the snow and I, we love just playing in it and enjoying it outside when it's like this. And uh, so yeah, let's see if we can get Elvis to do some plowing. So that was one thing that I didn't do getting Elvis ready was put chains on it and it's biting me now. All right, I got the tires dug out a little bit and uh, some ashes on it a little bit. See if we can get out of here. Uh, not how I thought it was gonna go. I didn't make it very far. Got down the driveway a little bit and I uh, stopped to move the camera and just got stuck. I got a little bit off to the side. And my big downfall is I didn't put chains on when I was getting ready a couple days ago. There's just too much other stuff to do and I just didn't get to the put the chains on the dump truck. I thought, nah, we're not gonna get that much, I won't need it. Here I am, we need it. So let's uh, see if we can drive back out of here and keep plowing. And so I stopped to move the camera and that was that was not the right thing to do. So 
if I get plowed, I'm just going to keep plowing. I'm just going to make a path. That way I can get in and out. And uh, then we'll go back and widen it from there. So, let's see if we can get out of here. Try it one last time. I think we got some. All right. Whew. Let's see if we can uh, get the plowing now. So I just stopped for lunch, got a bite to eat up at the house, and uh, so now we're back down here at the truck. Still got more plowing to do to widen up the road, um, but two things that are going on. One, I decided to put chains on. I don't think there's any way that I'm going to make it back up that driveway without chains on it. So I got the front chains here, sitting here, so I'm going to jack it up, put the chains on, and uh, hopefully that'll give me more traction that I can make it back up to the driveway and finish plowing in the driveway out and up around the house. Second thing is, I broke a belt for the power steering pump. So I noticed the power steering was getting real tight when I was out uh, plowing around the mailboxes at the end of our road. And um, I stopped at the neighbors, I thought maybe I was low on fluid, checked and the belt had broke. Um, so I don't have an extra belt, I even tried taking one off of the bandsaw, um, I don't have an extra belt. so. I can still steer it, it's just really, really tough. Um, I basically have to be moving slow in order to steer, so it's not easy, um, but we'll, we'll get it done. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and put the chains on here, and we'll catch up in a minute. All right, so we're making the last pass on the road here. Hopefully it should be wide enough. Sorry about all the noise in there, but it's, uh, it's about as wide as I can get it. There's some places that are down to snow, so. Should melt off pretty well here. Being that this power steering belt's off, really hard to steer, so it's uh, it's been a bear for sure. So I still gotta clean the driveway up and up by the house. 
right, so we're back up at the house. There's the truck. I ended up breaking a hydraulic line on the way back, so I wasn't able to use my left and right. Um, so a lot of equipment issues today. Uh, hydraulic line, power steering belt. Um, I didn't have the chains on, so live and learn. Uh, you know, we, we got plowed out. Uh, there is some some stuff I got to clean up here. Um, be able to uh, get in and out of the driveway or the garage and stuff. So overall, not too bad for having two feet of snow. But tomorrow's another day. We can uh, get this stuff cleaned up. Uh, it's almost supper time here, so just been all day moving snow around. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get the equipment fixed, get the rest of this cleaned up, and we'll be good to go. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.